it'll change your theology it'll change what you think about God it'll change how you live in the earth it'll change how you wake up in the morning and who you're walking who do you wake up and walk with in the morning the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth the Holy Ghost is that different than what you used to do yes your God in the earth today. The Father is in heaven. Hebrews chapter 6, Jesus verse 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Does that mean we leave them as in we don't have anything to do with them anymore? No, it means we go on from there. Meaning we still have those as our foundation, but we go on from the foundation. Where do you go from a foundation? Up, right? You build up on it. You don't spend all your time in the basement do you no. what happens if you spend all your time in the basement basement you start looking weird right yep. We're not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God of doctrine of baptisms plural and of laying out of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment you should know all these things we preached on all these things these are basic 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 basics verse 3 and this we will do who who has to do it we have to will to do it right yes. this we will do if God permit and I present to you tonight that God is permitting it and we're going to go on if he doesn't per permit it now when is he gonna permit it these are the these are the last of the last days he's got to take off the permission so to speak and permit for people to go on and if they're gonna go on and the others don't want to go on what happens they get left behind mm -hmm. I'm going to be speaking this evening from the room say the room, the room of Holy Ghost worship and it's a different place it's a different room than most people have ever been in even if other people don't we do have people that are worshiping the Holy Ghost and when they worship the Holy Ghost they enter into that room of Holy Ghost worship and they need to go on yes. are you here yes. myself included I want to go on I don't want to go back and have to lay the foundation again I got the foundation I like it it's good it's good strong solid foundation I'm not trying to lay a new foundation it's the same foundation but we need to go on well we need to go on if God permit and I'm telling you he is permitting it in this day and in this hour so I'm gonna be speaking from this room of Holy Ghost worship and if you don't know what I'm talking about we've got plenty of other messages online that talk about Holy Ghost worship we're actually talking about not the music portion I like music but we're talking about actually worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today it's a different thing it's a different operation it does something different to you it's a diversity of operations that does something different than all of the other things you've been doing are you here yes. so I'm gonna be speaking from this room and even if you don't really know all of the things that I'm talking about imagine that if you don't really even know all of the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about if you will use the words I worship you Holy Ghost it will start working for you you can those things in that room will become available to you say become available. become available I'm talking about when you begin to worship the Holy Ghost it makes the room of Holy Ghost worship and all of the things in that room available to you even if you don't know all of the things I'm gonna be talking about other people have done it you can do it too it's a function of you making up your mind that you're willing to go on and you're gonna go okay I worship you Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words if you don't know how we got here then you need to uh, subscribe to the website and go and listen to some of those other messages that tell you how you got here that the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and because he's God if you knew him as God what would you do you would worship him as God you can do this you can catch up well I tell you one of the best ways to do it is just to do it use those words and say I worship you Holy Ghost are you here yes. and when you do those things become available to you that aren't available until you do that others have done it and so can you use 
the words I worship you Holy Ghost and Holy Ghost worship changes everything it does it'll change your theology it'll change what you think about God it'll change how you live in the earth it'll change how you wake up in the morning and who you're walking who do you wake up and walk with in the morning the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth the Holy Ghost is that different than what you used to do yes mm -hmm. daily use of the words say daily. daily daily use of the words and I I recommend to people at least five minutes a day start out with five minutes a day what do you mean five minutes a day for five minutes every day sit in your chair and use the words I worship you Holy Ghost what do you mean use the words I worship you Holy Ghost I mean say out your mouth I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost Holy Ghost I worship you I worship you Holy Ghost and you're gonna do that for five minutes if you will do that for five minutes every day it will change your life certainly change your doctrine I'm telling you that if you begin to worship the Holy Ghost and you use those words it is one of the most profitable things that you can ever do you know people that say that oh uh, you don't you know uh, that's cute uh, but it's not profitable how do you know how do you know I dare you to do it what are you afraid of that God might pay attention to you that God might look at you and you're worshiping him he will who do you think you're worshiping when you go I worship you holy you're worshiping God he is in the earth he's been here since the day of Pentecost he's still here right yes. and when you worship him you get his attention you get his favor he will come and look at you and your life will be changed he's the teacher and I'm here to tell you it's my testimony was my testimony not worth anything I'm telling you it's my testimony that if you worship the Holy Ghost every day your life will be changed Holy Ghost worship is one of the most profitable things you can do yes you repent and believe on Jesus yes you receive the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues yes you worship God the Holy Ghost and when you do that it becomes one of the most profitable things and I'm telling you that's my testimony others have the exact same testimony but yet anybody here have that testimony anybody out there have that testimony does it change everything yes you get a brand new Bible I always wanted a new Bible you live in the new reality that the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth you're in the earth who do you walk with now him the Holy Ghost now listen he will if you do this if you worship him every day he will rewire you rewire your mind rewire you into this new dispensation if you worship him he will rewire you into this new dispensation did you get that what dispensation are you in the Holy Ghost dispensation most people are not wired into it they're wired into some other dispensation fragments here fragments they are trying to draw power from the neighbors right Holy Ghost wires you into this dispensation where should you be fully engaged in this dispensation if we're gonna fulfill what we're called to fulfill worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm telling you rewires you all of your thoughts your mind everything into this dispensation his dispensation more than five minutes a day and you'll begin to partake of the contents of that room what do you mean the contents of that room it's an actual room in the spirit and if you worship the Holy Ghost he'll begin to rewire you into that room right and there's contents in the room let's just go here this will sound freaky to some people but too bad Psalm chapter 34 and look at verse 7 the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that do something and delivers those that do that something what's the something that fear him it says here other translations say worship 
and worship that same word that's translated fear is translated worship many other times in the Bible the angel of the Lord encamps around about those that worship him and delivers them and as I was in this room you can receive this or not I hope that you do as I was in the room of Holy Ghost worship what do you mean I was worshiping the Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost an angel came up to me I was in that room he was in that room what do you mean there was an angel in the room worshiping God what do you think the angels do when they're not just doing other angelic things they're worshiping God this angel said to me I have nothing to do with people who don't worship God God is who the Holy Ghost so he has nothing to do with people that don't worship the Holy Ghost and I said God wait 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 a second you got to give me some scripture on this we just read it the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that worship him and delivers them who does this angel deliver people that worship God who is he sent to deliver people that worship God will he deliver somebody that isn't worshiping God not according to this verse of scripture and maybe just not that angel are you here so anyway that's the, one of the things that you can expect say I can expect, I can expect angels, angels to minister for me when I'm in that room of Holy Ghost worship so you, uh, you don't even have to do anything here it said he's doing the thing right you're just worshiping God God who God the Holy Ghost you've come to know him as God in the earth today and you worship him and when you do where are the angels gonna do things for you and deliver you deliver you in heaven you don't need it there here now if you are worshiping the Holy Ghost and five minutes seems like an eternity or seems like a really long time you need to just keep doing it it's an indicator of whether you're really getting into that room or not you understand I'm just I'm, again I'm speaking from I'm, these are advanced things for people that worship the Holy Ghost you understand and it doesn't mean this too far out for you you can get there but you're gonna have to worship the Holy Ghost does this make sense yes. if five minutes seems like a long time you're just you got to keep continuing keep doing it every day if five minutes seems like it's not enough or it wasn't enough time and I want to stay in this room and like you don't want to leave the party then you're getting somewhere Do you understand it's an indicator that you can look for there's too much going on I don't want to leave it I tell you so many times again my testimony so many times I'm in that room of Holy Ghost worship I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I know that things are happening for me say things are happening things are happening. the angels are doing things God's doing things for me God's showing favor to me God's going out and doing stuff that I can't do you don't believe wait wait till we get into some of this stuff tonight well uh, I don't worship the Holy Ghost well you can there's no reason you can't I'll give you the word the exact words to use and the way to do it you uh, use the words I worship you Holy Ghost I would indicate you and you say I sometimes I'll even put my name in there I'll go I Andrew Hemstrott worship you Holy Ghost because I don't want him to get confused I want him to know I'm the one doing it are you here who's God in the earth today so you guys are pretty solid on that is anybody gonna shake you from that how did you get there you know how you got there who got you Jesus got you there didn't he the real Jesus said when he leaves he's gonna send who a space alien no the third person of the Trinity the Holy Ghost is gonna come in the comforter where did Jesus do that yes so who is here today Holy Ghost he is God don't leave him out he's the one that's here Acts chapter 9 and then let's look at verse 31 the churches the societies had rest and prosperity and were built up and were multiplied right yes. they were increased in numbers how you say how walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost walking in the fear what does fear mean worship so in some way 
somehow there's a connection between the fear of the Lord and the comfort of the Holy Ghost can you imagine that the comfort of the Holy Ghost means the paraclete or the one called alongside that helps you if you fear the Lord he comes alongside and helps you are you here if you worship the Lord he's more prone to come alongside and help you that's my point here those things are connected they were prospered they grew they multiplied in numbers through worshiping the Lord and having him do things comfort them is this making sense the fear of the say the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord. I'm hoping that I can get this through to you tonight because the fear of the Lord we're going to be talking about reverence is also in many modern translations that's what it'll use the reverence of the Lord rather than fear mm -hmm. also worship the Lord so if we're gonna fear the Lord we're going to be worshiping the Lord mm -hmm. the fear of the Lord is the worship of the Lord say the fear of the Lord, fear of the Lord. is the worship of the Lord the who's God in the earth today who do we worship the holy. the holy ghost which means that's the fear of the lord so they were walking in the fear of the lord and in the comfort of the holy ghost it was multiplied to them are you still here yes. proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the lord is that in your bible yes. the fear of the lord is extra something that you don't even need to worry about some people do some people don't eh, whatever is that what it says no. that's the modern loose version translation it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning are you here yes. so we know that the fear of the Lord means the worship of the Lord the worship of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom it's the beginning and the knowledge of the holy is understanding how am i going to get knowledge of the holy ghost what did it say the worship of the lord are you here yes. the worship of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding still applying to the worshiping of the holy ghost if I worship the Holy Ghost according to the scripture what am I gonna have a beginning mm -hmm. right yes. how do you enter into the room of Holy Ghost worship I gave you a key that's what it says on the door Holy Ghost worship you worship the Holy Ghost it's literally the fear of the Lord say Holy Ghost worship Holy Ghost is the fear of the Lord the, of the, the Lord. churches had rest walking in the fear of the Lord are you here yes. I mean literally right in the first chapter of the book of Proverbs and verse 7 it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning mm -hmm. how many of us don't begin by worshiping God you want to know the Holy Ghost you're gonna to have to worship him say if I want to know the Holy Ghost I'm going to have to worship him using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is the beginning of the fear of the Lord it is the fear of the Lord are you here yes. did I make that clear enough or maybe I just gotta be louder when I use the words I worship you Holy Ghost that's the fear of the Lord it's the beginning of wisdom it's the beginning of knowing I can testify personally that until I began worshiping the Holy Ghost I didn't know I knew a lot of stuff but it wasn't knowing him when you want to know God the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today give it a go worship him why because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowing him okay now having said all of that and I hope I got it across sometimes I don't know I know next to nothing about the fear of the Lord because of its scope and size it's seemingly infinite in its scope 
so it seems like I uh, even uh, so whatever I know about it is still very small do you understand it's next to nothing compared to the scope of it all. it's like the earth in the universe it's next to nothing but I know a lot more than most people about the fear of the Lord which is the worship of the Holy Ghost are you here Paul said in 1 Corinthians 14 18 he said I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all remember that we all assume that Paul and this is the way it hits my mind is we go okay well Paul speaks in tongues more than all the Corinthians which means the combined bunch of the Corinthians speaking in tongues Paul still spoke in tongues more than any of them well, now what about people that don't speak in tongues did Paul speak in tongues more than they did yes is Paul therefore an authority on speaking in tongues yes. you could say yes he speaks in tongues more than all of them he speaks in tongues more than the Corinthians but he certainly speaks in tongues more than everybody who doesn't speak in tongues and it's funny because all the ones who don't speak in tongues want to say they're the authority on speaking in tongues you ever seen that mm -hmm. and he goes I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all Bible right and Paul was an authority on it the reason I said that is I worship the Holy Ghost more than you all now you may be worshiping the Holy you got a ways to go to catch up to me because I've been doing this for almost 30 years and because of that I'm an authority on this subject so when I start talking about the room of Holy Ghost worship and what goes on in that room I have something to stand on are you here do I worship the Holy Ghost more than people who don't worship the Holy Ghost or believe in that yes. why are they telling me that there's somehow an authority on whether I should worship the Holy Ghost or not they know nothing about it they can't tell me what's in that room they can't tell me the effects that it has I'm telling you when you worship the Holy Ghost he literally rewires you into this dispensation and if that's the only thing you got out of this message glory to God it's huge you're worshiping him he's God in the earth today you're walking with him he rewires you into fully into this dispensation where you need to be so I'm somewhat of an authority on this and I'm telling you that Holy Ghost worship changes everything everything say everything, everything. it goes on and on the scope of it the fear of the Lord say the fear of the Lord fear. what is the fear of the Lord worshiping the Lord worshiping the Holy Ghost okay is this fun yet in that room you can find everything everything yeah everything in the room of the fear of, now if I say it that way people are a lot more prone to understand it the fear of the in the room of the fear of the Lord is everything in the room of the fear of the Lord is everything what's the fear of the Lord the worship of the Holy Ghost are you here so in the room of Holy Ghost worship is everything somebody out there got that glory be to God in Holy Ghost worship is every what is everything in him in God the Holy Ghost yes worshiping him gives you access to literally everything you shouldn't worship the Holy Ghost oh you're telling me I shouldn't worship God to that I say poo poo I should worship God besides you're, you're too late you're way too late. it's like somebody saying oh you shouldn't speak in tongues every you are way way you you are literally thousands and thousands of hours of me speaking in tongues too late to know that there's no to tell me there's no benefit to speaking in tongues or now you're trying trying to tell me there's no benefit you're the authority you're trying to tell me there's no benefit to worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm showing you scripturally there's b huge benefits to worshiping the Holy Ghost literally everything is in that room it's exciting and you get in that room and you don't want to come out Proverbs chapter 22 uh, let's look at verse 4 by humility and what 
the fear of the Lord by humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life that means in this room of the fear of the Lord what's in there riches and honor and life you know what the ri word riches means Rich. yeah riches wealth riches what's in that room you say there's wealth in that room worship humility meaning submitting myself to worshiping God does this make sense that's the fear of the Lord it's in there what's in there riches and honor in life where in worshiping the Holy Ghost in the room of worshiping God which is also called the fear of the Lord yeah you mean just little riches and a little bit of honor and just a sprinkling of life no it's all there it's however much you want listen to me it's however much you want say however much, however much. I, want I want is in there, is in there. so let's just take for instance that I've come to the place of knowing that the Holy Ghost is God that he's the one that Jesus sent into the earth and because I know him as God I worship him I'm submitting myself to that worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth that is the fear of the Lord when I do that it opens up this room to me by humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life those things are in there in that room is wealth in every area of life every area say every area, every area. is there anything in the room of Holy Ghost worship yes. everything's in there and when you begin to worship him and use those words I worship you Holy Ghost you begin to gain access to all of the things that are in that room all the angels all the stuff all the power that he's made available to you because you become fully in this dispensation which is the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you for these people who heard this message I ask that you begin to seal on their lips those words I worship you Holy Ghost and as we begin to worship you you will begin to do things that you couldn't do before and we give you praise and glory for all of it in Jesus name Amen Holy Ghost your God